welcome back. <laughs> uh, since this is a Python bias channel, I thought I would like to show you how you can uh, install um, custom Python module or deploy it to your uh, target with the help of Octopus Deploy. So if we go to the project, so we can create a new project. So let's say deploy Udemy module from FreePurPy. So what I would like to do is to take this uh, public module from myself and deploy it to my uh, Octopus instance on Windows. And um, there is a, let's say, tricky process until we get there. So what we would like to do is go under the library and go to the external feeds. So under the external feeds, you have the option to add Docker container, GitHub repository, Maven, Nugget, Helm, AWS, and so on. So we need a GitHub repository and we will name this github repository as udemy so uh, basically this is a repository for a module which allows you to interact with the udemy api it's kind of useful and um, my personal portfolio page uses this module to display all the courses that i have created on udemy so this is not really a marketing uh, Catch, but um, this module is used to display whatever uh, courses I have on Udemy. So now what we would like to do is specify Udemy, API github.com and so on and anonymous access. This is needed because this is a public repository and um, we do not need authentication to access this repository. If you have a private repository for which you would like to have access granted to the Octopus Deploy, you need to select the personal access token or the basic authentication. But since this is a public repository, we are good with anonymous access. Now, what we need to do is to go under Projects, Deploy Udemy, and our process will be of two steps. First step is to deploy the external feeds package to the given node. And then what we would like to do is to create the Python path variable. And uh, okay, let's make it three steps. So basically we would like to install the requests module in order to allow interaction with this API. So let's jump right into it we will select the package and then the deploy the package <coughs> and we call it udemy from github i said github and we will run it on the default and we would like to select the feed udemy and we will repurpose slash udemy and now we will download this package then securely upload it to the tentacles or we could select that uh, we would like to download it from the tentacle itself it's um, interested on your preference so to speak and what we would like to do is to add another step so this step will be repurposed from the python windows one and here we have a process which configures a path variable and this path variable looks like this so what we would like to do here is to add the different uh, source for this one so now we would like to use the octopus applications broadwin reaperpy and so on this is the path that we need in order to deploy this and if we go back and delete this one and just 
go ahead and copy this. What we can and should do is to go and change our project, the deploy, process, add step, and we would like to execute the script. And the script will be run and states that add Python path variable and we will run it on default and we will have this inline script executed so we would like to make this uh, module available to everyone on our system and this environment variable that we would like to modify is called python path and we would like to make it so that Python path is appended by this path that we have specified so we do not overwrite or miss out on anything. Now what we can do is to save this part and a last step that we need to add is to execute another script which is going to be called uh, let's call it a, a python script that is uh, uh, install requests and we would like to run it on the default and we say that python dash m tip install requests and basically that's it so now we can create our release and this release is going to deploy a package with the version 1 release notes first udemy deploy and just save it and deploy it and go ahead and wait for the deploy itself. <laughs> so we have acquired a package or something like that. Let's see the tasks log. So the term Python is not representing so much of the function and so on. <laughs> So maybe we need to change our process. So uh, maybe we could just simply leave this part out. So Python. Oh, it, it seems to be working. So Python, gem pip install requests. No module name pip. So this is the problem. <laughs> the Python I have on this machine is not uh, really installed, so to speak. But technically, what we have here is that we have the Prodwin, the Udemy module, and here we have this part installed. So that was all I wanted to show you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.